Dallas County election officials went to court to ask a judge for permission for an alternate method of voting for the 91 people being monitored for the Ebola virus. That judge approved the request. Fox 4's Sean Rabb in our newsroom with how the county is going to help these people vote. Yeah, Clarice, and all of this is really happening right now. What these registered but for now restricted voters will do is cast their ballot similar to how military overseas in what's called hostile pay fire zones vote. Technology will be the lever that allows these folks to carry out their most important American civic duty. The process that we're allowing those voters to vote is to be able to send their information electronically. But first, what we have to have always is an application. And county health workers started taking those application packets to people who are self-monitoring at home or being isolated at Presbyterian Hospital because of possible exposure to Ebola virus. They're corresponding back to us saying that they want their information uh, returned by electronic means. And then you send them the packet, the ballot. If they're able to receive these documents by email, then we will send them out electronically. If not, an absentee ballot will be delivered by health workers. Then they can actually fill it out and take a picture of it. Their smartphone, the voting booth. You can take a picture of it. And then email. And then you have to email the picture back to us. Votes can also be cast using a tablet. You open up Genius Scan, it's a free app. Download it from iTunes. Election worker Jesus Martinez explains the steps. Go ahead and click on this uh, picture. You can take a picture of the document. You go ahead and save it. Once saved, the app converts the document into a PDF file. Once it creates it, there, the next step you do is you're going to go ahead and email it. Both the application and actual ballot packages have signature pages included to verify ID. And it also confirms that they are uh, the individuals who are under this movement restriction. So votes can be counted for people being monitored for Ebola while they are counting the days until they're off the Ebola watch list. Now, the application for absentee mail ballot that started going to people uh, being monitored today must be back in the elections office by November 2nd. That way, Clarice, people can receive their ballot and be able to vote November 4th. And Tony Pippins Poole sending her guidelines for how to help those in other counties like Collin, where there are also some folk self-monitoring at home for that 21-day period to her election administrator colleagues. Excellent, Sean, that they're going to be able to vote. But what about the sanctity of that vote? Mm -hmm. How is it going to be protected when people are emailing ballots? Yeah, that's a good question. We asked that question today as well, Clarice. Here's what. There are only two people in the Dallas County Elections Office who will see and handle the email votes. And both of those had to sign what's called a non-disclosure agreement, tantamount to an affidavit, saying that they would not reveal who these people voted for to keep the secrecy of the voting ballot intact, even though this is happening electronically. All right, John, in our newsroom, thank you. Okay.